Bit of an everything day today. Got to get to the bike shop to buy those parts that I keep forgetting to buy when I'm at the bike shop. Got some meetings and I've got to get a ride in at some point. So first, coffee, let's go. Another terrible day in Melbourne. Hey look, I'm about to go see Sue, who used to make my coffee for years and years. I haven't seen Sue for a few months. So we'll surprise her, I'm in the area. She's a beautiful lady, so I'll hopefully she's in, let's see. Hello. Hi, Hello. Didn't get a lot of footage then. I had to put the camera down because Sue just wanted a hug and she wanted to talk so much and I didn't feel right putting the camera there. If you're ever in queue, go and see Sue and tell her I sent you. She was the first person to give Veronica and I our, uh, an engagement gift. When she found out we were engaged, she was so happy. She keeps asking when we're having kids. Um, she wants to see all our photos of all our travel. She shares her family stories from back home in China. Um, she is just a beautiful person. So she's a, it's a shitty day here in Melbourne, but she's an absolute sunshine. Every time you walk in there, she is a ray of light. And as I went to leave, I went to pay for my coffee, she wouldn't take my money. So I've got a free coffee, but we shared a few stories. I'll take Veronica in there next time and we'll film that. And when I broke my hip a while back, I've, I've mentioned in another video that I've broken my hip in the past. I used to walk down from home down there, it took me 15 minutes, and the next day 14 minutes, and the next day 13 minutes, the next day 10 minutes. So it was part of my rehab, going and getting a coffee from Sue uh, and her husband who run the store. The customer experience you can get from a very small transaction can mean so much more than even when you buy big ticket items. I've bought bikes and cars and signed leases to houses and there's no emotion there. No one really gives a shit. You buy a coffee and you can share a life experience and life stories and you can establish a rapport with somebody that's lasted for 10 years, I think I've known Sue. Again, it's all about the experience. Good coffee, good people and good times. Speaking of good experiences, time to go to the bike store and get some parts. So if I was to come in and get my fit from my road bike, put on this, and you to adjust it just to check everything, what do I need to do? Yeah, look, if we're just doing a sizing, it takes about an hour, and yep. we're looking at $99. Right. Otherwise, we can do a full body geometry fit, which is about two and a half to three hours, um, which is 350 bucks. And we look at leg length discrepancies, um, we look at um, you know feet, knee, hip alignment, all that sort of stuff as well during that one. And that's a complete package for everything, that's ground up? Yeah. This is also one of my favorite tools, especially for indoor comfort. That there is a butt print. You sit your butt. If you haven't had one of these, you need one for your seat to get your sit bones. So your two sit bones will go on here. It'll make an impression. If you haven't seen one of these before, they're very cool. And they measure the distance between your two sit bones. So come in and get your butt print and get measured up. Now the reason why I wear a 43 is because I came in and saw these guys and they told me a 44 was too big, that's why. 43 and, and I'll need arch support based on that. That's cool. I could have spent the whole day in the bike store, that's so much fun, and there's so much technology there to cover. The retool thing was very interesting. It's the first time I've actually sat on one of those bikes, or are they, are they bikes, whatever they are, and the, had the whole adjustment happening. Comment below if you want more information on that. I might be able to tee up a time with the guys to go in and cover more of the fit. Maybe even have a full fit myself. We'll have a chat to the guys and see if they can do that. 
Okay, on to the topic of this video, getting these cleats off and a new set on the best way possible without having to line them up against the wall and having to adjust everything. Here's my tricks on that, enjoy. So the number one take home from that was to trace around your existing cleats with a texter all the way around and your new cleats go straight on top of that and making sure when you're screwing the bolts in they're all evenly tightened all the way around. It's like you do with a car tire putting them on so there's not one having a lot more tension than the other. It makes it easier to position them as well. And back to the arch support, I put those in today as well. I'm going to give them a run tonight. I'll report in a few weeks or so to see if there's any difference. Um, hopefully there will be. Given the arch that I saw on that heat map of the foot pad, it'll be very interesting to see how I go. I'll let you guys know. There we go. New cleats on in exactly the same position as the ones we took off. Really, really important you get that right. Okay, that's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow, guys.